1900, the Comstock Silver Rush brings thousands to Las Vegas. 1905, the San Pedro Las Vegas Salt Lake Rail Lines makes Las Vegas a train stop town. 1928, Congress passes the Dam Bill. 1931, Boulder Dam Project brings 7,000 and Boulder City is born. 1933, FDR dedicates the Hoover Dam. 1941, World War II starts and Las Vegas Army Airfield comes to Las Vegas. 1941, Bugsy Siegel comes to Las Vegas with his dream. 1951, Atomic Energy Commission okays Nevada test site. 1960, Las Vegas becomes the entertainment capital. 1966, Howard Hughes buys the DI and starts Las Vegas on a new track. 1969, Kirk Kerkorian opens the $60 million International. 1977, 31-year-old Steve Wynn gets controlling stock of the Golden Nugget. 1982, the Mirage becomes a bigger attraction than the Hoover Dam and the battle for bigger and better begins. Ah, the Las Vegas Strip. Over 180 million feet of lighted neon tubing. That's enough to circle the world 13 times. I found out some pretty amazing stuff during my visit. Did you know that the Strip got its name from a Los Angeles cop named Guy McGaffey who owned a little club called the Paradise in 1946? Guy drove between his house and the Paradise Club so much that he started to call this stretch of road the Strip after the famous Sunset Strip in Los Angeles. This catchy name is still used today by many who refer to what is actually Las Vegas Boulevard as the Strip, which today looks nothing like the 1946 roadway Guy McGaffey drove so often. Who would have thought that this little oasis in the desert would turn out to be so profitable? Well, except for Howard Hughes, that is. In 1905, a land auction sold a block of downtown Las Vegas lots for $150 each, with the good stuff going for $1,750. With the explosive growth in Las Vegas throughout the 90s, the life of several famous hotels came to an end, not with a traditional wrecking ball, but with dynamite. When Steve Wynn took out the dunes to make way for the new Bellagio, he did it in a big way. The dunes implosion was filmed for a national television show called Treasure Island. The Landmark Hotel was taken out to make way for a parking lot at the convention center. The Sands fell to make room for the new mega resort, the Venetian. The historic Hacienda Hotel was the center of a national TV special when it came down on New Year's Eve 1996 to make room for the Mandalay Bay Hotel. The Aladdin Hotel came down April 28, 1998. This was the only hotel to be imploded and rise again with the same name. More than 35 million tourists came from all over the world to visit Las Vegas in the year 2000. With the average trip lasting three and a half days, this gave Las Vegas an economic impact of over $29 billion. Las Vegas wins over $6 billion each year. Surprisingly, the high limit games like Baccarat, where players bet as much as $250,000 a hand, are not the big income producer for Las Vegas. It's the good old fashioned slot machine that brought in the most revenue. Quarter slots are the most popular, followed by dollars, then nickels. Go figure. Las Vegas has over 125,000 rooms, which now stay full over 90% of the time. This is the only city where you can visit Arabia, Paris, Italy, Venice, Egypt, and New York all in the same afternoon. The latest addition to the Las Vegas Strip is the new Aladdin Hotel, built on the original site of the old Aladdin.
This new mega resort opened August 17, 2000 with an exotic Arabian theme party and fireworks show. Barbara Eden from I Dream of Genie gave the magical command that opened the doors to the $1.4 billion mega resort. The exotic main casino offers 100,000 square feet of gaming amidst flying carpets and ebony horses. The $760 million Bally's Paris Hotel opened September 3, 1999. Paris, Las Vegas features authentic replicas of famous French landmarks like the Arc de Triomphe, the Paris Opera House, and the Louvre. The 34-story hotel has 2,814 rooms and 255 suites. The Paris experience peaks when visitors take the glass elevator ride to the top of the observation area. This is one of the best places to get a great view of the Bellagio Fountains and the Las Vegas Strip with all the new hotels. The Venetian opened May 3, 1999. Developer and creator Sheldon Adelson, accompanied by Sophia Loren, cut the ribbon in a world-class grand opening event. The $1.4 billion mega resort was built to resemble Venice, Italy, and has been named one of the world's top 10 grand hotels. Mirrored after the Renaissance of Venice, the highly themed property features extensive hand-painted murals and detailed artwork. The hotel features 700 square foot all suite rooms complete with a sunken living room, three phones, a 27 inch TV and even a fax machine. The Venetian has 318 grand suites. These luxury accommodations range in size from 1,300 to over 5,000 square feet. Venetian guests can choose from one of the five different pools and spas or treat themselves to the 65,000 square foot Canyon Ranch Spa. Name one of the world's top spas by Condé de Nast Traveler. This state-of-the-art facility has over 100 spa services and even has a 45-foot climbing wall. The $950 million Mandalay Bay opened March 2, 1999. The 3,220 room luxury destination resort is set on the 60 acres that used to be the old Hacienda Hotel. The registration lobby aquarium has over 12,000 gallons of natural seawater that is home to tropical fish and coral. Outside, there is a 10 acre tropical lagoon featuring a real sand beach with surf quality waves. The 
30,000 square foot spa offers a full line of services and treatments. There are 15 restaurants representing a great variety of world-class dining experiences with several featuring creations by top-rated chefs. The restaurants feature unique decor and architectural elements created by some of the industry's leading designers. If getting married is in your plans, the Wedding Chapel by the Bay is situated on a private island amid exotic island foliage and sweeping views. The Four Seasons Hotel opened March 2nd, 1999. It is the first and only Las Vegas hotel to receive the AAA's Five Diamond Award. Occupying the 36th through 39th floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel, the 424 guest rooms and suites have set a new level of excellence in both amenities and service in Las Vegas. With the average mega resort having over 2,000 rooms, the Four Seasons Boutique approach is styled and staffed to cater to the city's new top-tier market. The much-anticipated Bellagio Hotel opened October 15, 1998 at an estimated cost of $1.6 billion, making it the most expensive hotel in the world to build. The beautiful Botanical Conservatory is home to exotic plants and flowers, such as orchids, lilies, and hyacinth. To ensure that every blossom is at the height of its color and fragrance, a 90,000 square foot greenhouse and a staff of 115 horticulturists repair and maintain the gardens and floral displays, which continue to change every month throughout the year. Divided into six distinctive pool courtyard settings, the pool area captures the romance of the old world in the classical setting of a Mediterranean villa. has nine featured restaurants, each representing the finest chefs and managers from around the world. One of the restaurants, Les Cirques, has a magnificent setting right in front of the fountains. The Monte Carlo Hotel opened June 21, 1996. The $344 million property has 3,002 rooms and suites.
The Monte Carlo was one of the first properties to have its own microbrewery right in the hotel. The hotel has five restaurants and a food court. With a range from elegant to casual, there's something for everyone. The Luxor Hotel is 36 stories tall and rises over 375 feet into the air. Built around an Egyptian theme, it took 10 acres of tinted glass to cover the hotel, and the atrium-style interior is so big, you could stack nine 747 planes in it. There are 4,407 rooms and suites that occupy the 30 million square feet of space, making the Luxor the third largest hotel in the world. The famous beam is the most powerful light in the world. It is 25 feet wide, and the seven xenon lights put out over 40 billion candle power of light. The Luxor's 10 themed restaurants feature a wide selection of culinary delights. As the greatest city in Las Vegas, the fantastic New York, New York Hotel opened January 3rd, 1997 with a spectacular VIP party and fireworks display. The $460 million property is a joint venture between MGM Grand and the Prima Donna Resorts and has 12 New York-style skyscrapers that house 2,034 guest rooms. These interconnected structures are approximately one-third the actual size of the actual New York City architecture, and the tallest building replicates the Empire State Building at 47 stories high. With the sky being the limit in Las Vegas, the Stratosphere Hotel and Entertainment Complex boasts the tallest freestanding observation tower in the U.S. At 1,149 feet, it is the tallest building west of the Mississippi. The 12-story pod atop the tower begins at the 775-foot level and features a 360-degree observation deck. This is the only place in Las Vegas where visitors can get a look at the entire city. The Tower Restaurant is Las Vegas' only rotating dining experience. The restaurant makes one complete rotation every hour, giving a guest a complete look at the entire Las Vegas Valley. The world's highest thrill ride is the Big Shot. This gravity simulator thrusts passengers 160 feet into the air at a speed of up to 45 miles per hour with a force equal to 4 Gs. Caesar's Empire. The original 680-room, 25,000-square-foot complex set a new standard of luxury for Las Vegas hotels with this Roman theme. The famous fountains at Caesars showcase the trademark entrance to the property, which have been featured in countless movies and sporting events. The Gardens of the Gods feature over 4.5 acres of swimming pools, all set in lush tropical Roman-themed landscape that were inspired by the baths of Caracalla near Rome. The new $600 million palace tower was added on December 17, 1997. The 29-story tower added 1,134 new rooms and suites to Caesar's empire. The standard guest room ranges in size from 500 to 750 square feet. The 23,000 square foot spa at Caesars is one of the most luxurious and complete spas in the gaming industry. There are 28 full-featured treatment salons and a 6,500-square-foot fitness facility, which includes a unique rock-climbing tread wall. A 
Originally built in 1973 as the MGM, Valley's Las Vegas is now a 44-acre resort owned by the Park Place Entertainment Group. The two 26-story towers have 2,814 rooms, which include 265 suites. The standard guest room is an impressive 500 square feet and features one of the best views of the Las Vegas Strip. Just completing a $60 million renovation project, the upgraded resort now reflects its real live Las Vegas theme, providing guests with classic Vegas-style amenities. The 70,000-square-foot casino offers a variety of gaming action, including a high-end slot area that is home to the world's first $1,000 slots. Valley's has a variety of culinary choices at its six main restaurants and five additional eateries with selections ranging from continental to exotic. The fabulous 10,000 square foot full service health club and spa features a wide selection of state of the art fitness equipment and amenities. The real hotel added a new tower and shopping experience called Masquerade Village. Being the first all suite hotel in Las Vegas, the fully featured standard guest room measures an impressive 600 square feet. The 1600 square foot masquerade suite is one of the six different super suites available at the Rio. Named as the best dining in Las Vegas since 1995 by Zagat's National Restaurant Guide, there are 15 different award-winning restaurants offering a complete variety of culinary choices. For the more value-oriented, the famous all-you-can-eat village seafood buffet offers a huge selection of entrees including shrimp, crab legs, and even lobster tail. The Voodoo Lounge atop the new Real Tower offers live entertainment both behind the bar and out in the lounge. The outdoor patio setting offers a great view of the Las Vegas Strip. The famous tropical white sand beach pool area is truly a desert oasis, complete with waterfalls and lagoons and spas. The MGM Grand is four football fields long and has 5,034 rooms, including 751 suites. Built on what used to be the old Marina Hotel site, the MGM is now the city of entertainment and is one of the largest hotels in the world. The standard guest room is 446 square feet and features a black and white marble bathroom. The MGM has 14 world-class restaurants which range from gourmet excellence to dining fun like the famous Rainforest Cafe. The MGM also offers guests the opportunity to try famous name cuisine like Wolfgang Puck and Emerald Lagasse's Emeralds. The MGM Grand now has a new state-of-the-art convention facility, and the famous Grand Garden Arena continues to host major sporting events and national concert tours. The Tropicana Hotel symbolizes the way Las Vegas used to be, a place to escape from daily life into an adult playground where tradition holds true, where Las Vegas begins. The three swimming pools are all set in a tropical paradise that was the first of its kind on the Las Vegas Strip. 
the less setting comes complete with waterfalls, beautiful floral arrangements, pink flamingos, and even a swim-up bar. There are 1,875 newly renovated, spacious, and luxurious guest rooms and suites at the Tropicana. The Hyatt at Lake Las Vegas is the newest resort in Las Vegas to open off the Las Vegas Strip. Located on Nevada's largest privately owned lake, the 25 acres of direct waterfront property has a lush Mediterranean oasis theme and is surrounded by the 18-hole Jack Nicklaus Golf Course. With a grand opening in true Las Vegas style, the extensive fireworks show illuminated the sky while the lake played host to the water theme resort. I found a lot more to do and see in Las Vegas this year, both at and away from the hotels. It was great to have more things to do with the family and kids in the daytime and at night. Getting around town was fun and easy with a new monorail system that they have connecting the different hotels to each other. Great idea. It was headliners and production shows that made Las Vegas the entertainment capital of the world back in the 50s and 60s. Today, Las Vegas has more variety and bigger state-of-the-art production shows than ever before. From magic to mystery, family to fantastic, there is something for everyone. Siegfried and Roy show at the Mirage has to be one of the greatest shows of all time in the history of Las Vegas. The 1,500-seat theater was designed by John Napier at a cost of over $10 million. There are 75 tons of scenery, a six-story high computerized dragon, and the most powerful lighting system ever created. Almost 2 million feet of cable, seven computer boards, and a crew of 163 run the spectacular show twice a night, six nights a week. But the real magic belonged to Siegfried and Roy with their vision of mastering the impossible.
The Blue Man Group, live at the Luxor, is a creative experience that defies categorization. Following the success of their New York, Boston, and Chicago shows, the three longtime friends, Matt Goldman, Phil Stanton, and Chris Wink, now perform to sold out crowds at the 1200 seat Luxor Theater nightly. features a live band whose haunting tribal rhythm helped drive the show to its unforgettable climax. Masquerade Show in the Sky is a $25 million first for Las Vegas. The 12-minute show is free to the public and runs every other hour from noon to 11 p.m. There are 102 one-of-a-kind costumes and a cast of 36 specialty dancers, musicians, and aerials. 950 feet of track transport the five individually themed floats that carry a Brazilian theme. Tussauds Celebrity Encounter Inside the Venetian opened with a VIP gathering. There are five themed environments showcasing over 100 wax figures of some of the most popular film, television, music, and sports celebrities, and even Las Vegas icons. Vegas Hilton and a joint venture with Paramount Parks opened the long-awaited Star Trek experience. The $70 million project incorporates an unmatched variety of entertainment elements, including a motion picture simulator voyage, state-of-the-art computer games, retail shops, a themed restaurant, and a museum-style collection of Star Trek history. For the first time ever, visitors will be transported to the 24th century, where they will be immersed in a futuristic adventure that includes a voyage through space in a shuttlecraft. GameWorks, a state-of-the-art video game center, was co-created by Steven Spielberg, Studios, and Sega. Celebrities came out to experience the latest in action simulators, indie cars, virtual bobsled, and space fighters during the VIP grand opening. Hoover Dam is 726 feet tall. That is 171 feet taller than the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C., and twice as tall as the Luxor Hotel. There is enough concrete in Hoover Dam to build a two-lane road from Seattle, Washington to Miami, Florida. Built in 1930, 
The dam still attracts millions of visitors each year from around the world. The VIP Hard Hat Tour lets you get up close to all of the machinery and inner workings of the dam. During peak electricity periods, enough water runs through the generators to fill 15, 20,000 gallon swimming pools in one second. Each generator weighs four million pounds, as much as four and a half fully loaded Boeing 747s. Hoover Dam's new visitor center and parking garage cost $123 million to build. That is almost as much as the dam itself cost to build at $165 million in 1935. The Desert Prince's paddle boat at Lake Mead offers a great way to see the lake in Hoover Dam. You can ride in air-conditioned comfort during the summer months or enjoy the fresh air on deck in the winter and spring months. The newly remodeled Circus Circus Adventure Dome features five acres of action, thrill rides, and fun for kids of all ages. Open 365 days a year, it is America's largest indoor theme park. Mandalay Bay Reef Sharks exhibit features one of North America's largest displays of sharks and other sea predators. With over 100 different species of sharks, exotic fish reptiles, and turtles, this total sensory experience is designed to transport visitors to an undersea ocean of fantastic sights, sound, and encounters. There is a hands-on exhibit where you can get up close and touch baby sea creatures. Audio wands are included with the tour and provide detailed information for each exhibit. The Las Vegas Motor Speedway cost over $100 million to build and is home to NASCAR racing and a host of other events. The 1,500-acre park features a 1.5-mile tri-oval racetrack. There's a quarter-mile drag strip and a two-and-a-half-mile road course. The grandstand seats 126,000 spectators and has an infield capacity of 15,000. There are 102 luxury suites and VIP boxes at the Speedway. The helicopter service is a great way to beat the traffic and spend more time enjoying the races. For race fans that really want to get into the action, the Richard Petty driving experience is the answer. Here you have a chance to get behind the wheel or ride along in an authentic NASCAR Winston Cup style stock car. With 600 horsepower under the hood, you can travel around the track at the Motor Speedway at speeds up to 160 miles per hour. Feeling adventurous? Try an outdoor adventure tour. On this trip, I got to ride in a real Hummer as we passed over Hoover Dam on our way to Black Canyon. The rafting trip starts at the bottom of the Hoover Bay and makes its way down Black Canyon River where you can get up close to some great wildlife. On the way back, the Hummer allowed us to get far back into the foothills where we checked out some old gold and silver mines. The Valley of Fire is only 55 miles from Las Vegas and features rock formations, petroglyphs, and remains from ancient Indian civilizations. Spring and fall are two of the most popular times to visit the park, which is open from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. year-round. Bonnie Springs, Old Nevada, is only 30 minutes out of town and has a free petting zoo for the kids. There's also a regular zoo, old western-style saloon, horseback riding, and a complete western theme park that stages gunfights and audience participation shows daily. The Grand Canyon is a short flight away from Las Vegas and is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. 
with a depth of 5,700 feet and a width of 12 miles and a length of 277 miles, the Grand Canyon is estimated to be 2 billion years old. One of the best ways to see the canyon is by helicopter. The tour lands in a special setting where passengers can get out and enjoy a spectacular lunch right at the base of the Grand Canyon. On your trip back from the Grand Canyon, you can get a great view of Hoover Dam and Lake Mead. If you plan your trip just right, you can catch a fantastic Las Vegas sunset. The Las Vegas Zoo surprises many people who think it would be way too hot for the animals. But surprisingly, they seem to like it that way. There's even a petting zoo where you can climb around and interact with some of the baby animals. With the wild popularity of roller coasters today, Las Vegas holds its own with a unique blend for speed and creativity. The Manhattan Express at New York, New York was the first roller coaster on the Las Vegas Strip. With a height of 233 feet and a drop of 144 feet, the ride reaches speeds of up to 67 miles per hour. The world's tallest roller coaster can be found 100 stories above the ground at the Stratosphere Tower. The high roller zooms around the pod on 865 feet of track reaching speeds of 40 miles per hour and banking sharply at 32 degree angles. Speed. The ride at the Sahara Hotel is launched from inside the NASCAR Cafe. The high-powered coaster goes from 35 miles per hour to its fastest of 70 miles per hour. Flying through two loops, it ascends up a 244-foot tall tower and then carries passengers backwards through the same path. The Canyon Blaster inside the Adventure Dome at Circus Circus is the only indoor double loop, double corkscrew roller coaster in the world. Not all Las Vegas entertainment comes with a price tag. There's a great selection of special shows that are free to the public. The Fremont Street Experience transformed the famous downtown strip into a five-block pedestrian mall. Equal to four and a half football fields, the overhead canopy covers more than four acres and is filled with over two million computer-controlled lights. 208 speakers drive 540,000 watts of concert-quality sound during the show, which plays every hour starting at 8 p.m. with the last show at midnight. The new lion habitat inside the MGM features a variety of lions, including Goldie Metro, a baby lion descendant of the famous MGM signature marquee lion. 
Desks can be encircled by lions at any time via a see-through walkway tunnel that runs through the habitat, allowing lions to prowl above and below. Skylights and walls reaching heights of 35 feet provide maximum viewing for guests to take advantage of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get an up-close look at a lion cub. The newest members of the MGM Grand Lion family make appearances in the habitat daily, except Tuesdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The volcano at the Mirage erupts every day, weather permitting, with shows starting at dusk and continuing every half hour on the hour till midnight. The eight-minute pirate battle at Buccaneer Bay takes place every 90 minutes beginning at 4 p.m. and goes till 10 p.m., weather permitting. The Royal White Tigers at the Mirage are a tribute to Siegfried and Roy, who have devoted their lives to preserving the rare white tiger. Ron Lee's Clown World has a free self-guide tour of their working clown factory. You can see all kinds of miniatures being made, and there's some great clown history on display. The Clown Factory has plans for a themed amusement park to be built on the grounds next to the museum. The beautiful fountains at Bellagio are choreographed to music and light. The 8.5 acre lake is filled with 1,200 spouts, sending water as high as 245 feet into the air. The shows play every half hour for three to five minutes starting at 3 p.m. and ending at midnight. Shopping has become an entertainment event of its own in Las Vegas now. The forum shops were first with their unique entertainment style experience. Two spectacular animatronic shows taking place every hour from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. One of the seven minute shows recreates Atlas the ruler of Atlantis and his decision whether to hand his kingdom to his daughter or to her fiery brother, Guardius. The 51-foot fire-breathing dragon guards the moat in front of the Excalibur. The 10-minute show stages its battle every hour on the hour from dusk to midnight, weather permitting. Since 1968, circus acts from around the world have performed under the big top at Circus Circus. There are a variety of acts that perform twice each hour on the midway stage from 11 a.m. till midnight daily. Las Vegas has long been known for its all-you-can-eat buffets and 50-cent shrimp cocktails. Once limited to the basic roast baron of beef or roast chicken, today's buffets now include jumbo shrimp, crab legs, steak, and even lobster tails. One of the 
the biggest changes Las Vegas has seen in recent years is the increased variety of world-class dining opportunities now available. World-famous restaurants and top-name chefs have added Las Vegas to their choice of prestigious locations. If world class is not your style or budget, there is still an extensive selection of theme dining experiences to choose from. Race Rock Las Vegas, located next to the Fremont Experience on Glitter Gulch, is a 30,000 square foot multi-level restaurant and entertainment complex. It also features one of the greatest collections of racing memorabilia in the world. The famous monster truck Bigfoot is on display and hydroplane great Miss Budweiser hangs from the ceiling. The award-winning chefs dish up a great themed taste of victory menu as well as custom designed gourmet meals for large groups and corporate events. The NASCAR Cafe opened with a VIP of stock car drivers. The 75,000 square foot entertainment complex was created with 20 authentic NASCAR stock cars. The all-American menu is complemented by the Cyber Cafe, which has 24 7 8 size simulators. One of the most elaborately themed dining experiences at Caesar's Magical Empire. The adventure begins as guests are transported back in time to a maze of catacombs, which feature ten different dining chambers. Each chamber entertains and delights with private wizards who serve up magical surprises and fantastic dining fare. After the meal, guests are free to stay as long as they like and watch masters of close-up magic perform in the live theaters. Shopping has become a major event in Las Vegas today. There are shops representing every major brand and top designer from around the world. The Forum Shops were the first with their unique entertainment style shopping experience dubbed Shoppertainment. There is over a half million square feet of shopping space all set in a beautifully themed environment complete with water features and a forever blue sky. The Grand Canal Shopping Experience at the Venetian is a quarter-mile Venetian streetscape complete with a fleet of gondolas, cobbled walkways, and waterside cafes. There is a replica of St. Mark's Square beneath a dramatic 70-foot ceiling. Paris Hotel has 31,000 square feet of upscale French retail shops modeled after the famous Rue de la Paris.
Bellagio World Class Shopping Experience includes such famous names as Chanel, Giorgio Armani, Tiffany's, and Gucci, all set in elegant standalone stores. The Desert Passage Shopping Experience is the second largest in the United States with a half a million square feet of shopping. There are 130 shops and 21 world class restaurants. The Arabian themed experience even includes a real thunder shower that rains down every half hour inside the mall. What's next, you say? Steve Wynn has left the Mirage and purchased the Desert Inn. Wynn said he will soon announce plans to construct a 3,000-room hotel on the 220-acre Desert Inn property. Once that hotel opens, he plans to build a bigger and better Desert Inn. Bob Stupak is trying to raise the Titanic with a proposed 1,000-room hotel modeled after the famous luxury liner. As a special bonus to our video postcard customers, we have made arrangements with KC Publications to offer a special discount on their exciting products. This legendary company has been publishing interpretive products on the national parks, historical sites, state parks, and recreational areas for over 37 years. They're recognized around the world as the premier souvenir books on major U.S. tourist destinations. Each publication features spectacular full photography, accompanied by authenticated factual interpretive script that makes these products a great resource and souvenir for everyone. Visit their website at www.storybehindthescenery.com or call them toll free. For a special discount, use the video postcard customer code VIP when placing your order.